Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to create a forearm based short thumb spica using Rollian splint materials. This splint is used to protect, support, and or immobilize the wrist as well as the thumb CMC and MP joints while allowing the IP joint active range of motion. Rollian has a material for every splint, every therapist, and every experience level. A material with a high degree of conformability and low resistance to stretch are best for the splint. Today, we will be using 1 8 inch Taylor Splint pre-cut splinting material. Turn on the splint pan and heat to 160 degrees. Place the pre-cut on the patient's arm, ensuring that the splint is the proper size. Long enough to reach the distal border at the palmar crease, the notch at the thumb web space, and the IP joint border. This is the position that the heated splint will be placed in prior to forming. Heat entire splint for one minute. Remove the splint and dry both sides on a towel. Cradle it with both hands and place the pre-cut in the same position as during the assessment phase. Use your thumb to gently draw the thumb web space notch into the patient's thumb web space. Fold the distal end of the pre-cut approximately one quarter inch proximal to the distal palmar crease. Use your hands to form the transverse metacarpal arch. Wrap the peninsula of the pre-cut around the thumb with the border of the material slightly distal or at the IP joint. Gently press the distal end of the peninsula against the underlying splint material, providing a temporary tack. Using open hands, gently stroke the wrist and forearm portions. Allow the splint to cool for four to five minutes. Once the splint is completely cooled, the temporary tack at the thumb can be popped open. Dip the distal end of the thumb portion of the splint into the pan for 20 seconds. Use your thumb to finish the edge of the IP border of the splint. The proximal border needs to be two-thirds the way up the forearm and wide enough to be semi-circumferential. Dip the borders of the splint that need to be trimmed for 20 to 30 seconds and remove excess material. Gently flare the proximal border of the splint. The flare does not need to be dramatic. The intent is to lift the proximal border off the forearm, reducing pressure. Dip remaining edges into the splint pan for 20 to 30 seconds and finish the edges with your palm. Place splint on patient's hand, making sure the IP joint of the thumb and the MPs have free range of motion. The splint should be longer on the radial side than on the ulnar side. The splint should be higher on the radial side than on the ulnar side, and there should be an arch reflecting the transverse metacarpal arch. Apply strapping material, and you're done. Splint construction combines a firm understanding of biomechanics with splinting material that's ideal for each patient's needs. That's where Patterson Medical comes in. We're in a unique position to make your job easier. We offer resources like technical and clinical support as well as training and the best in continuing education. And we're your source for Rollian, which has led the way in thermoplastics for almost 50 years. Contact your Patterson Medical Sales Rep or visit rollianSplinting.com today.